The 2008 financial crisis had a negative impact on growth, national debt skyrocketed, and the protest against austerity has been widespread. For an industry that has been largely undertaxed and who many blame for the crisis, new regulation could be on the way. Under the umbrella of enhanced cooperation, 11 member states have signed up to a new financial transaction tax that could come into force by 2014 and would make banks pay to help Europe get out of the crisis. It would also generate 30 to 35 billion euros a year. It serves essentially two purposes. The first one is to disincentivize short-term speculation um, by putting back the focus on investment, preferably long-term investment. Uh, and the second uh, important element, of course, is to uh, generate revenues. What the FTT will do is impose a tax on stocks, bonds, derivatives, repurchase agreements with trades anywhere in the world linked to the 11 member states. But the FTT is unpopular. The UK, along with other non-participating member states, has raised concerns over distortion of the debt market and the effect on sovereign debt. Speculation and speculative bubbles, but that is a different issue that you deal with in a different way. I want to level playing field so that European companies, when they're trying to get money for investment, for jobs, for growth, for our future, are not put at a disadvantage compared to somewhere else in the world. We as politicians should not forget that the era of total deregulation led uh, to the crisis that erupted in 2008. This is one point. The second point is that uh, we are talking about a tax with extremely low rates. The FTT will be discussed by the Econ Committee on Thursday. But what final shape will this Robin Hood tax legislation take? Well, we wouldn't want to speculate.